Hey everyone, what's up? How are ya? Hope you're fine. My name is Anya and today, or rather tonight, <laughs> let's look at a really scary video about shit caught on camera. This is a part three to the scariest things caught on doorbell cameras. <laughs> and once again, by the end of the video, you may consider getting one yourself. That poor kid. In this footage that a viewer sent me, a person can be seen crouch walking towards his front door through his doorbell camera. The person was wearing a hat, face mask, and sunglasses, allowing none right. of his face to be seen. Ah, oh, shit. And he covers the camera. Oh, no, he wiped. Did he wipe the camera? After trying to open the front door and failing, the person starts to fiddle he's, with the doorbell. He's you know, trying. It's a video doorbell, so he probably tries to take it off. I hope he left some fingerprints. Because before, when he was trying to open the door, he had a sleeve over his hand. But what there? likely happened mm -hmm. was that when he realized that he couldn't get the doorbell unmounted without a special screwdriver, he started to hold his hand in front of the camera. Good job. Show for the future culprits what they need to take that camera off. Camera after ringing the bell. The viewer <laughs> told me that this happened at two in the morning, and so when he heard his doorbell and ring notification go off, oh. he instantly went to his phone to check who was at the door only to see exactly what you're seeing. Oh God. And then walks past the doorbell to the side of the house. And by this point, the homeowner was on the phone with 911 Good. reporting the incident. While on the phone with 911, the homeowner heard the doorknob to the side entrance door being fiddled with. <sighs> and this was a door that he had been known to leave unlocked accidentally from time to time. However, luckily on this night, that wasn't the case. <sighs> Since the intruder couldn't simply walk in through either door, he started to say hello repeatedly through the door in an off-putting tone that sounded so overly friendly that it was creepy. The 911 operator told the homeowner not to open the door or to even acknowledge the person. The person would then start to bang on the door for a few moments until seemingly giving up. The police showed up but couldn't help out much based on the video. Why would he bang on the door? Does he really think the person's gonna open if somebody <laughs> comes to your door in the middle of the night at two o'clock? Do, they, do these people, well, maybe they're high or drunk or something, but do they really expect someone to be like, oh, you just woke me out of my deepest sleep, but here, I'll open the door for you. Do you want some coffee or tea, some cookies perhaps? Do you want some dinner or what is going on in their minds? Later that night, the homeowner received another <laughs> notification that there was movement at his front door. When he checked the video feed, couldn't see anyone. He came he back. Still has no idea who was under that mask and glasses. Jeez, that's creepy. <laughs> this following footage was also captured by a viewer's doorbell camera at their old house, which is still active while he tries to sell it. One morning at around 4:30 a.m., his cameras detected a man running from across the street from his neighbor's home, across his front yard, and up to his front door. The man was naked, with one of his hands blocking his privates. Why? I mean, not why was he blocking his privacy, but why was he running around? <laughs> the footage was caught Naked. from two angles. Was he robbed? He was arrested a short while later by local police or... and was apparently high on crystal meth. Oh, he great. He removed his clothing due to a fear of snakes being inside of his clothes. Oh, shit. He was running around the neighborhood knocking on doors and ringing doorbells yelling for help. The neighborhood is reportedly pretty quiet. The homeowner never had any sort of issues before this. In his words, he ran up my front yard onto my front porch and rang the doorbell. For the next minute or so, he was ringing the doorbell and knocking while pacing back and forth. He looked panicked, and his expression drifted from someone in pain to a look of pure crazy. Mm. At one point, said he needs help. After that, he ran off back into the night. The guy was picked up by an officer around 5 a.m., not far from his house. You know, as on the one hand, I mean, I've, I've had a lot of contact in my life with drug addicts and alcoholics and uh, while on the one hand, uh, I do kind of hate them, it always depends how they act and behave and because, and, I mean, there's a lot of them that are aggressive and menacing and scare the shit out of me. But as long as they're far away from me and I'm safe from them, I, I, do, I do feel really sorry for them. Because, I mean, I had my own problems, more than enough problems in my life that I tried to self-medicate, right? I mean, 
no, never mind. I'm not going to get into that. But uh, you know that that it's most of these people don't really take drugs and shit for fun. They try to get the the pain out or, or you know dampen the pain, the hurt, the ruminating, the whatever. There's a there's so many reasons people take that shit. And yeah, I'm rambling again. Sorry. It's, I just wanted to say on the one hand these people scare the shit out of me. On the other hand, I do feel sorry for them. But, this uh, is why you hmm. always check who's at your door before you open it, especially if you have a doorbell camera. If someone who you don't know shows up to your door late at night, don't open it. Unfortunately, in this why video, that's anyone? exactly what this homeowner did. Why? Around 10 p.m. one night, a suspicious-looking hooded man approaches the front door of a random house rather quickly and aggressively, and he right away tries to open the door. After realizing it's locked, he goes to ring the doorbell. Disappointingly, the homeowner opens the door rather quickly instead of checking who's at his door at this hour first. Oh, I've seen that one, okay. But I would never in my life open the door to a stranger in the middle of the night. I don't even do that during daytime. I have this little window in the hallway that I open and yell out, like, what do you want? <laughs> or usually I just say hello. And then people are, huh? what? where are you? There's, there's a voice. <laughs> What? <laughs> that one was or is really creepy. And good thing it's a guy, and he 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 shoved him out. Imagine if it would have been a woman. Would she have had the strength, the phys physical strength, the was like to throw him out? Put him in I probably wouldn't. Even his initial hi to the stranger at his door sounded overly friendly, <laughs> considering the man was already creeping in the second the door was open. Hello. He looks tall. He's probably a head taller than me, so no chance. The, the door before it's even fully closed. The man then stands there for another minute or so, fiddling with the doorknob a few times. Though the rest of the footage is cut off. The dialogue is near impossible to completely make out, but it seemed the man was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Mm. And was likely attempting Again. to burglarize the home. The homeowner called the police, but the man was gone by the time they arrived. It's unknown if he was found. Oh God! This image was posted from the owner of a ring camera and a Facebook group to caution others. The woman warned in her post to beware a strange man wearing a white mask lurking around the neighborhood after her camera caught him trying to look into her home a little after 10 p.m. one night. The woman said, I just want my neighbors to be aware and safe. Please, if possible, share this post. Screenshots are welcome. Not sure what colors he was wearing, but had a hoodie and jeans on. The disturbing picture shows the man in the mask looking directly into the camera. This is exactly the type of image that you'd never want or expect to see come up on your doorbell camera page. <laughs> but it's also the kind of image that would make you sure as hell grateful that you had one. Neighbors of the woman but... also reported seeing the man walking around and approached their front doors. Thankfully, no one opened the door to him. I have no clue whether that kind of thing is a thing in Germany. I don't think... Uh, uh, the thing here is... Um, I am... Um, I don't know if people can just install these cameras like they can in America because in Germany we have very very stupid laws about recording other people and uh, if somebody feels disturbed by the camera in your neighborhood you have to take it down you know if, if some neighbor has comes like um, excuse me I don't like being recorded on that camera when I pass by your house could you please take it down or I'm gonna call the cops well, no, they won't call the cops, or but they're gonna inform the cops, and then whether you, you it's your choice, you can take it down once when they tell you to, or you can wait till you get a letter from from a lawyer or wherever, because uh, yeah, that's Germany. <laughs> Our government doesn't want us to be safe. Our government hates us. There's nobody in this world the German government hates more than Germans. So, yeah. Never mind. I'm not gonna get into that. I was in a good mood until right now, so let's let's keep it that way. <laughs> On April 10th, 2020, Arlington Heights police released the doorbell surveillance video that I showed a home invasion in which a homeowner shot and killed one of the armed assailants. The video was taken on April 4th. Sorry, it's again it's these these stupid ass mask. Why why give criminals uh, um. Uh, I don't know the. 
uh, you know, why give them such a such an advantage by having made these masks mandatory for so long? Two men wearing surgical masks and gloves ring the doorbell of a home on North Evergreen Avenue. The two assailants, Bradley Finnan and Larry Brodax, were armed with a gun and knife when they forced their way into the home with the <sighs> intent to rob the family. Jesus. Just creepy guys is bad enough, but armed? Ugh. I hope nobody was there. Oh no, they opened the door? Oh, that noise. Is that lawnmowers, leaf blowers? My favorite. Especially if they scream, nobody's gonna hear it. Jesus Christ. Wow. I'm getting goosebumps. Wow. Beat the shit out of him, dude. He tried to harm your family. Good man. Luckily in this case, the homeowner fought back, <sighs> chasing Finnan outside and punching him to the ground, as seen in the video. The homeowner then returns inside the home, out of view of the camera, where he found the other assailant, Larry, pointing a gun at his wife and two children. The homeowner retrieved the family gun from a safe and confronted Larry. During a struggle, the homeowner fired a single shot into Larry's abdomen. He fell to the ground and died in the home. Bradley Finnan was arrested nearby and later charged with felony murder and two counts of home invasion. Jeez. On April 10th, 2020, <sighs> this was the footage taken by the ring doorbell. That was just, give me, give me a second. That was very, oof. <sighs> All right. Viewer's friend Kayla. Wait, what? Sorry. Censoring his face because despite this man's disturbing actions, he's likely mentally ill and it's not my place to put all of his business and face on the internet. Yeah, okay. So, wait, I missed the talk. And two counts of home invasion. <laughs> on April 10th, 2020, this was the footage taken by the ring doorbell of a viewer's friend Kayla in a small California town. Kayla was being stalked by her crazy former friend Thomas, who became obsessed with her over time oh, and would shit. constantly express his alleged love for her, despite her telling him numerous times that she didn't feel the same way. The That's week creepy that this footage too. was taken, Kayla was bombarded with texts and voicemails from Thomas. And as you can see, if you care to pause the video and read some of the texts, it starts with what seems to be Kayla. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And I'm sorry this upset you. I genuinely hope you have good days no and matter what. As you can what. see if you care to pause the video and read some of the texts. Okay, I'm glad to see you yourself again. I'm glad you're okay too. That was scary and I thought I lost you as my friend. It's okay. It wasn't the worst. I want to still help you in any way I can. Thanks for apologizing and I know it was genuine. Uh, I don't think you can help him. I, I understand where she's coming from. I totally get her. But there's just people you can't help them. Well, I, you know, they need professional help. I, I've had my experiences with trying to help people too, but if they're too far gone, they're just too far gone. And it you, starts with what seems to be and you, as a private person, as much as you like them or even love them, love sometimes, unfortunately, isn't enough be Kayla accepting his apology for his behavior. However, as the texts and voicemails just keep coming in, she begins to realize how crazy... Okay. We can talk more later, maybe tomorrow, if it's okay. I told Megan about this because I needed comfort from her. We will be here for you if you need our help and to talk, and I hope you can understand that I'm a bit nervous to be alone with you after that. Was a bit much for me. He may be. 
What you're about to hear are some no, audio clips please, from different voicemails he's left on her phone. Oh God, how much is there? Of course you need space. I'm happy for you to take it for a while. Please go and recover and think and dance and all. I want you to take all the time you need. I don't do this for any other reason than to leave or be left no matter what, if that's what it takes. You're safe, be safe. You're always safe and all of us are making sure about that. Think about this. Don't be alarmed, it was only a test, as they say. After she had stopped answering him. Hey, Kayla. Uh, listen, I just, I want to make sure you're not too worried about what happened at the party last week. I had an amazing time. Wait a second, let's just read that, and afterwards I won't read anymore if it comes up. You can read it yourself, because it, it'll, it'll get too confusing. I'm accepting this role as the bad boy and I'm not sorry. Nothing excuses my behavior because my behavior is what I choose to act as. It's a pirate's life out there. You ask why, I explained why. I did this with intention. Not impulse, not insanity, and not raging hormones, but because... And I think... God, I think you're goddamn beautiful. And I, 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 I'm sorry I got so sick. I wanted to come be with you while you were getting ready and I was just so totally out of it and I'm sorry God I think I might love you and I'm sorry and I I'm gonna give you some space and I wanna be there for you and be there for you and I can't get you out of my fucking head and I wanna be there for you God damn it so fucking God damn it well, all I can do is think of you and wanna be with you and I wanna be with you I wanna be your Flynn Rider and I wanna be everything for you Babe, you're fucking amazing. You are amazing. You're my knight in shining armor, and I'm so fucking terrified of you. And God, I love you so much, <laughs> so much. Please call me back. This is messed up. No, I lied. I'm not gonna give you some space. I'm sorry. I'm coming over. I know you're up and thinking about me. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm I'm talking. God, I'm not sorry. God, I'm coming over. I'm already driving. I'm been driving the whole time. God damn it. God damn it. I'm coming over. Oh, shit. I'm not going to give you space. I know you called me back. I saw that. Yep. I know you're up thinking about me. Oh, God. God. God, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. I'm coming over. One way or another, I'm coming over. Fucking whatever. However. Whatever. God, I'm coming over. I'll see ya. I'll be there in like 10 minutes or whatever. I'm in whatever. I'll come out right now. This is really scary. Bye. I love you. Scary and sad. <laughs> rough road. Oh, it's a rough road. Fuck you, Kayla. I, I am fucking crazy. God damn it. Fuck you. I'll drive into the field. God damn it. Things like that. Fuck you. Fuck you, Kayla. I am goddamn crazy. I'm crazy for you. God damn it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it for you. I am crazy. Damn, that... Oh, that would be a cop. <laughs> 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 that would be a cop. We just don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll settle. I'll settle. Anything for you, my queen. Anything for you. Anything for you. I'll settle. I'm going so My phone is dying anyway. My phone is dying anyway. I'm still going to drive by your house in front of the night, so I dare you not to have your blinds open to check. I'm crazy. Maybe you'll never know if I did it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Jesus. The footage of him showing up to Kayla's house was right after one of his phone calls saying he's coming over, even though it was clear by this point she wanted nothing to do with him. <laughs> Eventually, Kayla and her friend Ravon would find out that Thomas wasn't even his real name. His real name is Matthew. He'd been using the fake name Thomas Castle, which was a reference to the Marvel character The Punisher. Thomas was a reference to Thomas Jane, the second actor to play The Punisher, and Castle was a reference to Frank Castle, The Punisher's last name. Jeez. The fact alone that he had been using a fake name with his friend and supposed love of his life yeah. was already a huh. huge red flag, and maybe a sign that he was hiding something in his life. The ring footage was taken at 2 in the morning, and after leaving, he would go on to send some more texts, which would progressively get angrier. Four days after this footage was taken, Kayla and her friend went to the police and filed for a restraining order. He left her alone about a month or so after the restraining order was put into place. Kayla blocked his number and blocked him on social media, and reportedly he basically disappeared from the world, and no one knows where he is now. 
And she's probably harassing some other poor woman somewhere else, huh? God, these kind of people really freak me out. That is so scary. Ugh. There's a moth somewhere here. Damn, but yeah. Ugh. Those videos really shake me up. They're so much more creepy than, than, than the, the ghosts and, and stuff like that. Because that's that that this is so real. People get killed through this. Or by these kind of people. That's just ah, it's messed up. But hey, it's a very messed up world we're living in and it's getting worse and worse by the year, so yeah. God, there's another weird insect, a little fly or something. Ah, uh, you guys. Never mind. I hope you were, uh, I don't know, shook up as well. <laughs> Is that something to hope for? Uh, never mind. You guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day or a great night and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.